Dr. Nightmare. Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Nightmare. And today we will be discussing one of the most intriguing cryptids and urban legends that is told to children to this day. The Boogeyman. But today is a little different however. Today I will have my friend the Protonator to do the narration for me this time. Take it away, the Protonator. The Boogeyman is a universal phenomenon, with variations appearing in folklore worldwide, from the Boogeyman in the United Kingdom to El Coco in Spain and Latin America. This creature has many names and faces, but what unites these tales is a common purpose to instill fear and enforce good behavior in children. So why does the Boogeyman exist in so many cultures? Psychologists suggest that the boogeyman serves as a tool for socialization by creating a terrifying figure. Parents can encourage children to follow rules and avoid dangerous behaviors. It's a method to control rooted in fear. But the boogeyman isn't just a cultural artifact. There's a scientific basis for why these stories are so effective. Studies on fear show that our brains are wired to respond to threats, real or imaginary. The amygdala, a part of the brain responsible for processing emotions, activates when we hear a frightening story, triggering a fight or flight response. In modern times, the boogeyman has evolved. Movies, books, and even video games have kept the legend alive adapting it to contemporary fears. Yet despite these changes, the core concept remains the same. A mysterious malevolent figure lurking in the shadows. So the next time you hear a tale of the Boogeyman, remember that it's not just a story to frighten children. It's a reflection of our deepest fears and a fascinating example of how folklore and psychology intersect. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of the Boogeyman. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest exploration into the paranormal and unexplained. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe.